This week's all new episode of Star Wars Rebels was called Always Two There Are. Now I don't need to tell all of you out there watching that this title is a reference to one of Yoda's most famous lines from the, um, uh, prequel trilogy. Well, geez, I guess two seasons in they can't all be original trilogy quotes. As the episode opens, we see Rex and Kanan are continuing to battle over how Ezra should be trained. You know, I like this, two well-intentioned older men battling to see who will become the positive male role model in the life of the orphaned Ezra. Their bickering gets so bad, in fact, Ezra decides to accompany Zeb and Sabine on an important medical supply run to a derelict Republic outpost. This proved to be a great outing for the show as the creepy outpost had a real horror movie feel to it with eyes peering out at the heroes from the darkness. And what would a good horror story be without a monster, I ask you? In this case, it's the two new Inquisitors, the female seventh sister voiced by Buffy's own Sarah Michelle Gellar, who fights with a series of probe droids that she calls her pets, and the fifth brother, a hulking beast of an alien whose eyes blink vertically. Ugh, super unsettling. In a very clever bit of writing, it would seem the two Inquisitors don't exactly see eye to eye and didn't even know what the other one is doing for most of the time. The one goal they do seem to share, however, is tracking down the Jedi Ahsoka in particular, which you know can't possibly be good for anybody. Seventh Sister establishes herself right out of the gate as a terrifying force to be reckoned with. She more or less spends half the episode just torturing Ezra, and the whole thing has a real bad touch undercurrent to it, if you catch my drift. Also, her voice is creepy as hell. At first, you thought she might have, like, a robotic thing going on like Darth Vader, but no, that's just how she sounds. Always too, there is gave Zeb a chance for some character growth as well. You see, he confides in Chopper how he feels like uh, no one on the team tells him anything, and that he's always the last to know. Of course, it's Zeb who ends up overcoming this issue and being the real hero by saving Ezra and Sabine when they need it most. Always Two There Are was another very strong episode of Rebels that married a horror aesthetic with the premiere of two very interesting new villains and threw in some character development in there just for good measure. If you can't tell, I really dug this episode. I think it's one of the strongest ones they've done this season. I give it a very positive 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll feel like checking out some more videos I have on offer here at Cape Jewel.